Hey, dude, looks like a lady. Hey, hey, what's up, my pilots? We are back playing Black and White 2. I am in a really good mood today. Um, not really sure if I should talk about why, but uh, oh, yeah, there it goes. I'll just say it because I'm I met a nice girl the other day, and that's always that's always good when you you meet somebody who makes you feel squiggly. It's always a good thing. I'm sure you all know what I'm talking about. Girls as well for the guys. So let's see, or vice versa. Maybe girls for the girls. I don't know. I don't know how many of my audience are homosexual, but I suppose there might be a few. Let's see. Ah, yes, silver scrolls. That's what we're doing now. <laughs> Kill every living thing. That's gonna be fun. Don't know if we'll get to do that one. <laughs> it takes a long time. So this is the forest ambush uh, quest out here on this little island. Look, boys, that spy needs to get through the forest, but he's gonna get himself ambushed. If you spend the signs, you might be able to get him through safely. Those dumb ambushes will also follow the signs, so we can send them on a wild goose chase and make sure the spy gets through. Okay, wait, who's this guy spying for? I forgot, but before this quest, you should... They seek me here. They seek me. Before this quest, you should throw all of the... Okay, shit. I'm not even going to try this until the, uh... <laughs> the trees are gone. Because otherwise, you can't see what you're doing. Yeah, he's about to get eaten. Uh -oh. oh! You got the treasure hunter killed! Not my fault, the trees are in the way. So yeah, we'll try again once I clear these trees out. This is re I really recommend you do this, because otherwise you're just you're gonna have no visibility coming through this mini game. You're not gonna be able to see the ambushers or the spy moving around, so. Definitely recommend it. Let's use a little mana here. Maybe can burn all these trees, yeah? That doesn't sound like a bad idea at all. Ha ha ha! Just burn this whole island. Set her off, but yeah. I figured I'd start this episode off with some fun stuff. We're gonna have to be, kind of be alternating between city building episodes and silver quest scroll doing episodes because mostly you, you need to kind of win the land to have an advantage on these. Like, I wouldn't be able to clear these trees out if we hadn't already won the land. And uh, there's a number of other things that sort of, you know, influence influence it. Like, if you're being ambushed, or if you're, <laughs> if you're being ambushed, no, if you're being attacked, you know, the enemy town is coming after you, you don't want to be spending your time, you know, fiddling around with silver scrolls. You should be building a wall and defending your city. So obviously you can't start with these. But you can't really, uh, it's, I don't know, it's kind of weird to leave them all for the very end. But I suppose that we will just keep doing that because that's really the only way to to get the city. This is the best way to get it done. Honestly, while well, those trees are burning, let's go and do the other silver scroll. This one's actually kind of weird, but fun oh, too. my poor dolly. You look so poorly. What on earth is wrong with you? <laughs> oh my! <laughs> that sheep isn't ill. It's giving birth. Catch her lambs, or Whoa. they'll get hurt. Try not to let any drop. Mmm, better go nice with some potatoes. Maybe a little salad. Uh, you know, little onions, uh, tomato. Uh, yeah, but that'd be nice. Real tasty. Okay. It's kind oh. of. Here comes another. Maybe we just grab them and set them down over here, and that's the whole—that's the whole game, guys. This sheep is just gonna keep squirting out uh, baby sheep. What are they called? Lambs, lambs. And we're gonna grab them and put them over here in this nice little grassy field. You can put them anywhere, I think, as long as you catch them and put Get them down. Ready. Here it comes. Oh, I caught him. Uh, so that's four, four baby sheep. Yeah, singing at the beginning of this episode, sort of a carryover from... I just filmed the... Or just, no, shit! Oh, I got you there. I got you. Don't worry. Uh, it's kind of a carryover, because I just edited and posted the Boethia episode of Oblivion, which involved... It's like a 34-minute episode. Longest fighter skill we have episode we've had by far. Like, twice as long. But I wanted to keep it as one video, because I may eventually do all the Daedric quests for Oblivion. It's not my plan for the short term, but... So I've already done Nocturnal, and I've already done um, Toethia, so that's like 2 out of like 20. I guess I have to start on them now. But, eh, 
Maybe, maybe not. I really should talk about that in, in that LP, but... The reason I brought it up is because that episode, I just went crazy. I did all kinds of different, like, editing things that I haven't tried before. Jump cuts instead of fade-ins, and... Cut them, cutting out pieces that yeah, I wouldn't normally cut out, leaving things in I wouldn't normally... What the hell did I just do? Get ready! Here it comes! Where'd that other thing come from? Is that a person? What the hell's he doing here? This ain't your minigame. Why can't I grab him? Can I punch him with hand forcing? Oh, I can! Neat. So basically you just sit here and you keep... <laughs> Look at him go. <laughs> He's running away, I think. I don't know if you have to save a certain number of these, but I usually grab them all because it's not hard. The only trick is to make sure you stop your hand before you let go or you're going to throw them into the woods and that's not really helping. Come on, tell me there's only 20. No? Why'd they give off this green gas when you put them down it's beyond me, but I guess that's a, how sheep express happiness. I don't know, maybe it's like a pheromone or something. Oh, here comes another. Get over here. Get over here! There we go. How many are left? That's 25, I mean. That's a lot of baby sheep for that one... Get ready. Jeez. Here a lot of lambs for one sheep. <laughs> Ugh. But for 40,000 tribute, this is really easy, so you gotta go, you gotta go for this quest. Not sure why this Norse guy is here, but he's got like a Scottish accent, so. Oh my dolly. You're better now. And we've got these new friends to play with. You did it, leader. Great work. Hmm. Yep. That was amazing. That was great. Saved saved the lambs. Alright, this island should be Wow, that was a beautiful cinematic just then, wasn't it? Like flying over the landscape like that and having that island come into focus as we got closer. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, can you go ahead and move these signs while you're not doing the quest? No, you can't. Okay, so we'll have to just start it up again. I should just put us... Let's try again, shall we? Alright, okay. Don't get bitchy with me now. Alright, so what you want to try and do is get these, uh... Get all the assholes in one place. Get them in between two signs, if at all possible. So what I'm going to try to do is put a little trap together over here. And these signs will move with time, and they'll also move... If you uh, if a certain number of people go past them, all right. So we're gonna want to send him to the to the right. I'm gonna try to keep them all between a pair of signs, if it's at all possible. Very good. That's your first piece of information. Okay, we need to get him out of there. So let's send him off this way. I'm gonna actually send him around a little bit because I want to have more time to get these jokers all in one place. Because if you can isolate them, it's really easy to. To, to handle this quest. Okay, so he's just going to kind of make a loop-de-loop -loop over here. Meanwhile, we're going to try to get all of these assholes in one place. Basically, the only two signs I'm watching are these two signs, so I have to just try to keep funneling everybody over that way. This guy is going to want to go this way when he gets here, so... You mean that sign can't point down? That's shenanigans. Okay, so these signs are still all pointing in the right direction. That's good. Oh, we've got to turn that one around. It's good to have a backup sign or two in case one of them starts fooling around with you, going the wrong direction and shit like that. It could be tricky to get this one if I can't get them all past that sign, but well, let's keep our eyes open. So basically, you got to watch these two signs the whole time, because whenever anybody walks past one, there's a chance that it's just going to turn. And if it does that, and you let people go by, yeah, you see shit like that'll happen. That that just happened at like the worst possible time, too. I I couldn't have I couldn't have had that go worse if I had tried to. But that's what'll happen sometimes. You gotta be quick and you gotta keep your eyes open, keep watching these guys. They're gonna be pretty pretty keen on getting to your adventurer. I'm not sure what stops what what makes the signs turn just spontaneously sometimes, but it's really annoying when they do that. You saw they have a guy I got basically like right there. And then it all of a sudden it turned as he was approaching it. I don't know if turning the signs and then turning them again would... would. Nope, it didn't. You see, he just got let out for no apparent reason. The signs are just turning on their own. And that's a real pain in the ass, let me tell you. Oh, man. That'll... That should've get you. That should've get you good. Hmm. As long as you got... It's like, this is actually a nice place to do it because they're not going to get too close to this guy. They're all running around together over here. 
You can see what's starting to happen is they're all in, they're all in one place like this. That's what you want. <laughs> so maybe I'll just keep keep doing this. No, you see, there it goes. It let that guy through. Uh, damn it, we it's doing it again. Another piece of information now. Okay, good, good. We're getting closer. Don't fucking let those guys through. Piece of shit sign turning itself around. I suppose it's supposed to be them, you know, like looking for the guy, but. See. No, I'm not gonna listen to him. I have to focus on the captors. So I'm basically letting him run around in the background. He's not he's not all too important, but these guys I gotta watch. When he gets over here, I'm gonna want him to go that way. Yeah, you see how they're all a nice little group for us now? Just try and force them the way we want them to go. If you hover over that sign, you sometimes can catch it when it tries to let people through. And other times it'll just screw you. Only so much you control. We're gonna want him to go right there. What? Everybody's moaning and groaning. What are they? What are they complaining about back in the home city? Nope. Don't do that. That's ugh. that's annoying. The signs let him past. All right. So our guy's making his way around. As you can tell, damn it! Would you stop? There you go. Send him back. <laughs> As you can tell, our guy is moving a lot more slowly than these guys are. And that's a pain. Uh, that's one of the big disadvantages. But he's got the third piece of information now. Another piece of information now. So now I just need to walk him around to that third piece. And he's already on the right track. We just gotta make sure the signs don't turn the wrong way or something. Which they very well might. But the way I have it set up, he won't actually have to reach these guys. He'll grab that last piece of information and we'll be done. Yeah, that's the only one that's left. Not so hard. Kind of an annoying quest when the signs keep turning on their own, but... Not difficult if you have if you can get all the guys in one place. It's only at the very beginning that it's actually can be can be hard to do because the six uh, pursuers are all over the map and they might be surrounding him. They might have an advantage. They might end up just happening to go straight towards him, or and he's kind of dumb, so he might just run right into him. But uh, once you've got them all in one place like this, it's just a matter of making him a nice little path to follow and then watching them. I think he's basically got it now. Yeah, we win. Good, good stuff. Cool beans. Way to go. Excellent. You have all of the necessary pieces of information. So we win, right? Okay. I was about to say. <laughs> I thought I was gonna tell me to take him somewhere else. I was like, no, no, I'm not doing that shit. Safely. I wonder where is going with that map. Does it really matter? We received tribute after all. Yeah, he's not. You can't find him. He's gone. <laughs> Believe me, I've looked. He's supposed to be like right over here, but no. Or maybe one of these coastal zones, but he's not around. So don't worry about that. Okay, so let's look at what other things we could possibly do. Why aren't they going? <laughs> okay, they. I suppose they went around. Those long migrations. They really do. They really are dumb, aren't they? Okay. Tribute time! Well, how else can I make money? Is it just those two? Get the creature to build 30 houses. I suppose I could, but... Kill every living thing. Hunt down everything and everyone, including the animals. That's really hard to do. 20,000 20, tribute? Meh. 10,000 tribute? Meh. I think it might be time to go on to the next land. Because we've got 695,000 tribute already. And what we're basically doing is we're saving up to a million. Uh, spoilers. <laughs> I may have some alternative timelines where I use the two in between. But we're basically going to buy the, the cheapest miracle, which is the siren, and the most expensive. Which is, of course, the epic, awesome, freaking... I'm not going to say just yet, but you'll see. You probably already know. Look at all the people. And those people are apparently walking... Over there. Do they live in that town? I guess they do. Huh. That must be a nice commute. Go hiking over a freaking mountain every day. Well, to each his own. Oh, the migration's here. Let's see if we can massively overpopulate our town. Hooray! Did I get, did I get anything for that? I just got people. 261 more people. If you wanted to kill every living thing, uh, the way to do it would be to 
destroy all the fields. That's the first thing I do so that people start to starve. Uh, throw all the food into the ocean. And then throw fire miracles all over your town. Because at this point, you should, there, there should only be... I actually did it fairly badly because there's going to be people going all the way over here. But essentially what you want to do is destroy all the buildings so that people will crowd around the town center. And then it'll be easier to kill them with fire miracles. They'll be starving to death, so they'll die on their own if you just miss a few. And that is basically just a matter of time to get all the people once you've destroyed the, the food sources. But the hard part is that sometimes, if you're scrolling across the landscape, you'll notice packs of animals. Very much like this one. These sheep here. You would need to suck all these jokers up and kill them somehow. It might actually be easier just to use a fire miracle on them or to throw them on the ground, but whatever. Whatever floats your boat, really. You can do whatever you want once you've beaten the land. So you will have to find all the animals, like those sheep. There are some, I think, maybe some dogs from other towns. I don't know. Look at how evil he was. Yeah, you see the cracks in the ground? Mm -hmm. So I suppose the next thing we should do is get our creature looked at. Where is he? Hey, buddy. He's depressed. That's sad. Let's see if he needs any education. He likes to gather things. Yeah, that's a waste of time. Don't gather things. So, I guess we'll just do some like, training for him. Freaking fire engine going by outside. That's annoying. Gather ore. Don't gather ore. I'm basically going to have it so he does nothing but work out and eat things. I don't need him gathering wood or playing with things. That is damn loud. How annoying. Weightlift with trees, good stuff. Once he's big enough, you can teach him to weightlift with rocks, too. Pooing on the fields is good, because it'll fertilize him, so we want him to do that. Help erect our buildings. No, screw that. We no longer need you to build things. We're not going to get those achievements. Not going to get those bonus tributes. Not a, not a significant amount of money. Play with rocks. Don't play with rocks. Eat farm animals. Yeah, that's good for him. Play with our buildings. Eh, don't play. We're playing for you. I don't care if you're unhappy. I want you to be a soldier. Attack wild animals. Nah, eh, that's a waste of time. You need to eat those anyway. If they're all dead, you're not going to want to eat them. Playing with ore rocks is a waste of time. Sleep by a player's storehouse. No. Steal stuff from a player's storehouse. Don't do that. Jerk. Get grain from the field. Uh, uh, uh. Sleep by a storehouse. That's not a good idea either. I'm not bothering to train him all the way, but building the storehouse, I'll leave him neutral on that. Play in your pen. That you can do. Having him sleep in the pen is a good idea as well, because it'll make me grow faster. Weightlift with the player's villager. If you want to. Any weightlifting is good. Attacking or rocks. Man, I'm just going to go through this and get rid of all the dumb ones. Like attacking rocks and pooping on things. Weightlift with our rocks? Okay, sure. Poo on trees. We'll poo on trees. That sounds like fun. As you can tell, my creature is generally a good creature at this point. Oh, here we go. Attack enemy enemy soldiers. That's good. We want him to be attacking enemy soldiers. I'm essentially making it so his free will mode, which he's most happiest in, is going to be uh, essentially identical to... Oh, did he just fart? <laughs> Sometimes poo right on a player's defenses. No thanks. Attack an opponent's villagers. Sure, if you want. They're around. You get him to eat them, too. Poo on a player's villagers. Okay, I think that's about everything for now. So, if that really is all the things we can make money from, I think we're done on this land. Which, wow, that was surprisingly short. Was this only a three video, four video land? I guess we just kind of zipped through, didn't we? All right, time for the gold scroll, guys. Are you sure you wish to leave the land? Click again to confirm. I am sure. See you later, Hunchu. Fun stuff, my friends. The Japanese know what they're up against now. 
They're sure to take measures against us. <laughs> Let's go to the next We're land. We're flying through the building. That cutscene's always the same. I don't know how they expect you to not have a building right there and <laughs> try to know your town. Okay, world setting. So let's look at the only thing I'm really interested in is the creature. 31% good. That's good. Height is 8. He's growing up pretty good. That's if we got fatness. Not a big deal. Final. Only 7%. He needs to work out more. His fitness is good, though, so that means he won't be slow. Okay, wow, he did poop a lot. 